Floglund and also the last speaker whom I will uh, soon announce. Uh, they are members of the Robin Hood tax campaign in Norway. So uh, that's, uh, that's uh, something that I should have announced earlier. Uh, the last speaker was from Friends of the Earth Norway. Now our final uh, speaker is um, uh, Mrs. Linda Scholl Oxnes. She is a political economist in uh, in the Union of uh, Public Employees, Fagforbundet. Uh, Please, Linda, uh, uh, the floor is yours. Thank you. Um, I will speak a little bit about why Fagforbundet is uh, supporting the introduction of a tax on financial um, transactions and there's many good reasons for that. And as uh, Mr. Kroglund and Holtbrecken said, there's, we are facing huge challenges when it comes to development and climate. And also in Europe, people, uh, the, the governments are facing a growing debt and the people may experience welfare cuts so for us, this is not a question. Um, this is not a question whether the money is needed. It's about how the money should be generated. And for Falkbunde, the financial transaction tax is a just and fair tax. It would, um, and for us, it's an important point that it would contribute to a fair, a fair distribution of the resources of the society. It, as Benedicte said, it would be put on the sector, which is maybe one of the hugest, the winner of the globalization, and it could compensate those who haven't been able to gain from those welfare increases. And we will also say that the tax would contribute to a fairer tax burden. The financial sector has gained huge recently. It is, has been lower taxed than other sectors. One reason for that is that they have no value. They're not taxed by the value added tax. And they also have this implicit low tax through the guarantees. As we've seen in full action now, they received huge amount of money to be rescued out when the, when the crisis occurred. And only in Europe that would amount to around 38,000 kroners. And there's no wonder why the European... The public uh, finance is in, in, is in a dire state. And this is also why the, I guess would be that the EU Commission has changed their mind and now actually are proposing a tax on uh, financial transactions. It's just due to um, social mobilization and the taxes also have broad support in the society and in the recent polls in the EU, it is shown that the majority of the EU citizens actually are supporting a tax like that. So here, the government has the opportunity to actually introduce a tax which is hugely popular. And, but although the EU is taking a major step towards this tax, uh, there are some challenges left and there would be some... Not every country in the EU are supporting the tax, and Norway should support those countries which actually want this tax, so the tax in the EU becomes a reality, and there should also be taken an initiative to, and Falkbunde supports the initiative to such a tax here in Norway. And we also, the, Consequences of the taxes debated, but um, 
we are convinced that the tax would uh, stabilize the society. We believe. Why is it so um, dangerous that that um, frequency that people cannot move around the money in such a high speed? Would that make the market less efficient? We believe. We are convinced that it's the opposite. It's actually contribute to stabilize the economy, stabilize the production, and give better. I, I prepared this in Norwegian, so um, it would, we think it would maybe push the investments into more long-term investment and that would be positive for both welfare employment and the economy as a whole. So to sum up, we think that the financial transaction tax is a good idea and even though there are some dark clouds that the balance sheet, uh, for the balance sheets of the financial sector, we think that the tax should be introduced and if not a financial transaction tax, who should then pay? Thank you.